in the echo-filled empty warehouse space of a St. Louis federal building. Another government agency is moving out, leaving behind yet another massive vacant space to fill at taxpayers' expense. In all, the federal government has 14,000 vacant government buildings, costing us $190 million a year just to maintain. This building is around a million square feet. And it's all essentially vacant. Kevin Rothmeyer, our tour guide, is the federal official in charge of managing St. Louis buildings under the control of the General Services Administration, the largest landlord in the federal government. Uh, this space has been vacant for roughly two years. Rothmeyer says this space will soon be upgraded so that a federal agency can move in. We're hoping that it will be in the president's uh, fiscal year 14 budget. So you That's correct. And they still haven't approved it. That's correct. Well, there's uh, processes that we must go through. Those processes can create situations that make no sense. Example, the GSA will spend $27 million renovating this part of the Previdal building in Overland, so the Veterans Benefits Administration can move in. Then the GSA will charge the VBA $3.1 million a year to use the space. That's about $700,000 a year more than the VBA is paying right now for renting other buildings in St. Louis. Doesn't make any sense. Congressman John Shimkus wanted to rent vacant space in a federal building in Danville, Illinois. But instead of welcoming him, he says the government tried to charge him triple the market rate. The market in the area was $4 a square foot, and the federal office space they were going to charge us $12 a square foot. <laughs> no sense. This is building 101. Although Rothmeyer's office wasn't involved in the negotiations with Shimkus, the same seemingly crazy rules apply across the General Services Administration, where rents are often higher than the private sector, and empty and outdated space is an ongoing drain on the federal government.